Hello, my name is Amy Hinsman. I'm board chair of the Leo Augusta Children's Academy. And I'm Doug Anderson, the director at the Academy. It's been a few weeks since we've visited and uh, we're back. Today we thought we would share about our staffing. When I think of teachers, when I think of the own, my own teachers when I was a child, um, you know, teachers are generally very passionate about what they do and they go into that industry because they love children and they find their day meaningful and that they provided impact at the end of the day. Um, so I guess what I'd like to share uh, with the audience is when it comes to staffing and the employees, Doug, that you're going to be looking for, um, why would an employee consider employment at the Leo Augusta Children's Academy? And we are uh, right now in the process of receiving applications, so this is the perfect time to be having this discussion. Um, why would someone consider the Academy as a, as a possible place for employment? And I believe that at the Academy, uh, it won't just be a place that you work at, it will become your career. There are many things that we have that we can provide to individuals who are a part of our academy team. And first of all, anyone that works with children, you know how extremely gratifying and worthwhile it is to be able to have that influence um, with children. And it is exhausting. Not only is it gratifying, but it's also exhausting. But as a team member at the academy, you will be a part of that community that helps children to learn and to grow and to develop to their greatest potential. And some things that we'll provide for our staff to help them with that will be, first of all, the materials and, and uh, the things that are set in place to help with that growth. And I think the first thing, um, you've heard about this before, but is our curriculum and our programming. A great deal of time was spent selecting the programming for the Academy and uh, the research paid off absolutely in that the, the number one uh, program for early childhood education creative curriculum has been selected. And along with that, we have an assessment piece that along the way our teachers will have the opportunity to measure growth to measure success for their children that they work with and how wonderful it's going to be to have those things at their disposal. You know, quite often I've talked with people before working in a child care environment and sometimes they have to write their own curriculum and they have to develop their own educational resources and to be able to have this program and these tools available to our staff and the training that goes along with that I, I think is really unique. The other thing is at the Academy we plan to spend a great deal of time providing for professional collaboration and that's going to start right away with the pre-training, the four to five weeks of of training and professional development that we're going to provide for our staff and I think that too makes us unique to be able to um, invest that time in our staff with those activities and along with that uh, through the generosity of Smith we received a grant that will allow us to partner with the University of Minnesota their center um, for early childhood education and development and uh, our staff members will have a 42-hour course on early childhood education and social emotional learning and dealing with behavior challenges. During those four or five weeks that we're together, the importance of talking about and um, really allowing people the chance to fully understand our philosophies at the Academy and what we desire for children, what we desire in their educational process, the relationship that we want to have with families, the relationship that we want to have with our community. And so to be able to have that time 
to bond. There's really going to be a lot of team building activities and professional development activities that take place during those four to five weeks. Another reason why I think we're unique at the Academy is the um, support that we provide to our staff. Some days uh, it can be tiresome. Some days it can be overwhelming and uh, to be able to work with a group of individuals that understand that, that can empathize with that, but can also be there to provide that support and, and maybe some suggestions. Maybe an individual is looking for uh, additional tools for their toolbox or they need some help or they sometimes just need someone to listen. We're going to be able to provide that at the Academy and we'll also have professional learning teams. Part of what we'll do um, not only during our, our monthly staff meetings but at other times um, bring those teams together so those that work with the infants to be able to collaborate and the toddler teachers and school age and the preschool teachers to be able to have planning time to talk about the upcoming month and what lessons and activities are going to be presented um, and then also to have the time to reflect on that and see actually how that went. So I mean we're gonna bring staff in before the children are even in the doors. We're gonna give staff educational uh, tools to help them with their day. We're going to give them the opportunity to collaborate with coworkers to help build their lesson plans and how they're gonna implement them through that day. Um, and we're also gonna be able to uh, work with the staff to get to know the board members too, right? right? Being able to be that role model and that person that provides loving care, but also education to children, I, I think is the best job. At the Academy, um, we're going to meet each individual child where they're at. And so uh, when we teach them and when we work with them, we'll um, capitalize on their strengths, we'll continue to move them forward. If they have some areas of growth, um, the teachers will be able to focus in on those in an environment um, that isn't filled with pressure. Um, it isn't feel, filled maybe sometimes with some of the requirements that you have in other places, um, but just to be able to meet them where they're at and to help them and to love them um, and to help them grow. Also right now so popular um, in discussions is providing for the social emotional needs and I think we see that across our state and I think we see it in the country too. The need for um, equipping children with tools and language to tell how they're feeling. And so um, as a teacher at the Academy you'll have that opportunity to listen closely to the needs of the family. You'll have the tools necessary in order to communicate frequently with them. Our Brightwell app, you'll be able to send videos, our staff will be able to send um, photos and just have that communication that um, causes that strong connection in child care. And then to be able to support the growth and development of, of those children with the support and with the input of families. Uh, and keep in mind, we're planning to open the doors here uh, 60 days-ish. Um, and so, uh, and we're, we're going to be staffing here soon uh, at the first part of May. So if you really are interested in learning more about the positions, um, I really uh, suggest reaching out to Doug as soon as you can um, because our, our window, our time frame, is, will be closing for the interviews. We're going to start interviewing, I believe, the second week in April. Is that yes. right, Doug? Yep. Um, so we're, we're almost there. Uh, we, we honestly just cannot wait to meet you and um, give you some more glimpses into the Academy and, and what it can really do for you. And stay tuned. So we're back to our weekly sessions, and we got some really big surprises next week. Uh, with the academy and the progress of the construction. Um, all of a sudden it just went 
and went boom, 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 boom. And there's a lot of great things happening inside those walls. And if you haven't noticed the roof, you need to do a drive by and take a look at the roof uh, because that's, that's on its way. Thank you so much for joining us.